Um, Minison? So today is a short workflow video, and most specifically, we're gonna create a custom folder icon. This super cute icon to be exact. Haha. <laughs> we're gonna use Inkscape, some AI, and of course a GNOME app. <laughs> okay, let's operate. First of everything, you need the official Edweta folder. You can either steal it from GNOME GitLab or get it from your installation. But remember, it's very important to be the official Edweta icon. Doing that with Yaru, it will lead to your painful catastrophe on a molecular level. Open the icon on Inkscape. And by the way, that Inkscape is the GTK4 port. Rah! Then go to Adweta named Colors Documentation and scroll a bit down till you find the complete colors palette. Start doing some chores by first selecting the lighter variant of a color. Select the outer part of the icon and repaint it. Now get the darkest green to paint the other icon part. That way your icons will perfectly match the accent's colors in G47. Lastly, you need to change the bottom highlight color. That unfortunately is a six steps gradient. <sighs> Why am I even here? What's the point? Because I'm just a girl. Oh, little old me. All right, when done, select everything and export. You basically need to do that for every color. So in the end, you should have something like that. Possibly you can do that faster with a script, but I never looked into it. Anywho, next you need to get any image from anywhere. Go to Swift Tools on CART and select the Remove Background Workflow. Upload your image and give it a few seconds to clean the background. All done. Why don't all apps that load images have such a filter already, huh? Now, on Iconic, select your bottom image. The folder icon, basically and next the image to go on top. In the meantime, it would be super if that app could paint at least the official Edweta folders in any color we'd like. Anyway, turn monochrome off. Zoom your icon to the best fit, and we can also choose an exact placement. Okay, let's save it maybe? Um, by the way, today, Files had a release candidate and it implemented a new file choices feature. So I'll try to make a wholesome what's new in the next days, but without any promises. Anywho, the very last step, set our custom folder. Meanwhile, that icon widget had a few updates in GNOME 46. For example, it gained the restore to default icon option, which was super crucial, really. But for GNOME 48, we might get some extra things on it, according to some early mockups, at least. But what if, what if we could set a Brody official folder directly from that widget with some AI tooling? Come on, Chief. The software is already here, and it's even open source. And delaying to use it is nothing but a denial. A denial on the very best that open source can offer. I'm talking about things like Stable Diffusion and Llama that, um, okay. They are a bit restricted on their license, but still doable to use till we get really open models. I know you're gonna hate me for this, and hate me bad, but if you're asking me, today, contribution that isn't a contribution to AI development and AI integration, it's not contribution at all. And so that was everything for now. Drink water, use Linux, practice your three-point shots, and travel through wormholes.